Matt George, you've been pretty lucky because you've been blessed with the privilege of expandable storage in your phones. Us iPhone users haven't been so lucky. Until a couple of years ago, Kingston bought out their own bulk drive for iPhone. Now, don't get me wrong, this product's been out for quite a while, but I've only just looked into reviewing it, and here's why. bolt drive and it comes in three selected capacities you have 32 gigabytes 64 and 128 so this here has been an absolute lifesaver for me because this means that i can have expandable storage on my iphone so that i can record videos now i film pretty much all of my videos on my iphone unless of course i'm using a camera but whenever i'm having a secondary camera i always use my iphone because it is the best camera that i have got apart from this one. So this here is a 16 gigabyte iPhone 6. I have been having a massive struggle recently of storage being filled up because whereas I'm filming all my videos in 1080p, which of course is in 4K, but at the same time it does use up a lot of storage. So included in the box you get the Kingston Bolt Drive and you also get a rubber protection and a keyring attachment so that you can attach it to your keys, which I have actually done because where I've been going out to places, I always have this with me so that I can just take photos directly onto this. So when you load up the Kingston Bolt Drive you have a few selective options. You can either transfer photos, videos, select or all of them onto the Kingston Bolt Drive or you can take videos and photos directly onto it. Now the only trouble with taking photos and videos directly onto this is that it doesn't allow you to do 1080p at 60 frames per second. However, which I did find confusing, that they allow you to do 4K at 18 frames per second. So I don't actually know if that's only for the phones that support 4K or if it does upscale your video to it, but I mainly just use 1080p at 30 frames per second. So for example, the other day I was filming a video and my phone actually ran out of storage. So I then just plugged this into it recorded directly onto this and with the USB 3.0 end I just plugged it into my computer. So why do you need this? If you have a Mac you just simply plug in your iPhone to your Mac using the USB lightning cable unless you have a dongle. But it's pretty simple, you just go into image capture and transfer all of the files onto your desktop or any folder that you want it to do. But if you have Windows then it's kind of difficult, you have to go through selective folders, go through more folders, try and find the video clips that you want to use. So when you plug it into your computer it basically just treats it as if it was a USB stick. You just go into the folder and select the videos and photos that you want to take and drag them onto your desktop or any folder that you want to put them in. This here is the 32GB version and it goes for around £26-£27 and the other ones do get more expensive so this is the cheaper option. But at the same time it's one of the best ones. Now Sandis I think have also done a similar product to this but their app seems to be glitching out a lot which I've heard from reviews in the past and Kingston I haven't had any problem with it since. As soon as I plug the Kingston drive into my iPhone the notification pops up straight away and taking me into the app where I then have the options that I talked about earlier. So when you plug in the Kingston Bolt drive into the app it takes around two seconds for the phone to recognize that the drive is actually been plugged in. Then you get the options of transfer, capture and view. You then get the home dashboard which tells you how much storage that's left on your phone and how much is left on the Kingston Bolt Drive. So when you go into the settings you do get a couple of options which you can turn on and off. Another option of app password lock which you can select to have a password onto the app before you actually go into it so nobody else can view your photos and videos that are on there. If you have now a device that supports Touch ID then you can use your fingerprint to go straight into the app so that it works the same as if the password was on there. And then you also get two options at the very bottom to format the drive if you want to start over again and also contact customer support. So as I said, I absolutely love this product. It's been a massive game changer for me and I will continue to use it in the future when I film on my iPhone. So I would highly recommend you guys checking this product out and I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys do want to go ahead and check out the Amazon page for the Bolt Drive. Now this product is specifically for iPhone and the app is free on the App Store if you guys do want to go ahead and download it. And if you guys have any video ideas that you would like me to do, then please Please go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you go down there, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you will see me in my next video. See you later. Goodbye.